What's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm your complete Toyota buying resource. I'm going to show you all about the 2020 Toyota Highlander. We're going to compare it to last year's model, the previous generation, the 2019, so you can decide which one you like better. But first, write down in the comment section where you're watching this video from. I have a feeling this might be a little popular, so I want to see what city, what state, what country you're from, what continent. This is going to be great. How close to Raleigh, North Carolina are you? Let's get this review started. Woo! I know you're all excited to see the 2020, but we do have to see where we've been. Let's take a look at this XLE and Blizzard Pearl. It's a pre-owned one. We've sold so many new ones. The XLE new ones are out. So this is a great basis for comparison. People love the previous generation, the 2018s, the 2019s. They look great. They're smooth, quiet, and comfortable. You can see the wheel design there. This new Highlander here, it's been made with Toyota New Global Architecture, TNGAK actually, and it's streamlined, it's sleek, it's stylish. It looks really good. Looks a little bit elongated, and that's the reason why it's been elongated or longer, 2.36 inches longer. And all that area has been sent to the back cargo area and it frees up room for your luggage, your sports bags, that kind of stuff. But it also gives people in the third row more seat. So let's take a look here. Got the new 18 inch wheel design there. We'll tell you about the LED tail lights, stop lights. How do you guys like this blueprint color? Okay, we're gonna walk all the way around. What do you think about this new design We're gonna look at the front grille too, don't worry. All right, now we're gonna start getting specific. Let's call this housekeeping. No longer will we see a four cylinder option. The option for the 2020 is gonna be the 3.5 liter V6 engine. It gives you 295 horsepower. It's the same engine that we had on the 2019. The hybrid will be available with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and it works with two electric motors and it gives you 243 net hybrid horsepower. Now, let's look at side by side here. Fuel facts. In the XLE front wheel drive, the 2020, this is 21 in the city, 29 in the highway, and it combines for 24. This one in the 2019 is 21 in the city, 27 in the highway, combines for 23. So a little improvement for the 2020, especially in the hybrid. What do you all think of the wheel choices, the wheel design for 2019 and 2020? This is the XLE. You'll see that in every XLE 2019. And then this is gonna be the design. They're both 18 inch alloy wheels. They just look a lot different. I've always been a big fan of this latest generation Highlander. I really think I'm gonna like the 2020 better. The jury's out on that one and you're gonna help me decide with your choice. Now this has 12.9 inch disc brakes, 12.2 inch disc brakes. You'll see they've gone up in size on the 2020. It has smart key auto open push button start and it has blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert along with turn signal indicators. Now in comparison, what do you guys think of the 2020 here? This is gonna have larger brakes. It's 13.3 inch disc brakes in the front and the back as compared to 12.9 and 12.2. Bigger brakes means better stopping distance equals peace of mind for you if you ever need it in a pinch. It has turn signal indicators, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. It has the smart key auto open so it's easy to unlock with the keys in your purse or your pants pocket. And then the fuel tank size has changed. On the 19, it's 19.2 gallons. I did a previous take where I actually said inches, uh, but now it's shrunk a little bit. It's 17.9 gallons, not inches on the 2020. So improved gas mileage, smaller gas tank. I wonder what the range is going to be like compared mano a mano. What do you guys think? No bigger differences will be seen except for when you're looking at the front ends. Two totally different philosophies, different looks. Which one is your first impression telling you this is the one for me. You'll see that it has classy, luxurious, horizontal slatted grill, and then it has Toyota Safety Sense original pre-collision system during the daytime, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, and then it also has 
dynamic radar cruise control. This one here has the three-dimensional gloss black grille with Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So in addition to what I just told you, it picks up pedestrians at nighttime, bicycles during the daytime. It can detect on your multi-information display, stop signs, do not enter signs, yield signs, and it will read the speed limit signs as you go past them. And it'll even outline it in orange if you're speeding even one mile and over, so it'll help with speeding tickets and also safety as well. Lane tracing assist, assist which keeps you centered in your lane for about eight or nine seconds so if you get distracted it'll still keep you centered that's a big deal guys and then it also has full range dynamic radar cruise control so it'll slow you down all the way to zero radar technology here camera technology here you'll see that in all the newer ones including this one but that's kind of how it is and then the ground clearance on every 2020 highlander is going to be eight inches exactly now let's look at the headlights these are gonna be the halogen bulbs, the projector beams. So they'll have that, we don't wanna call it yellowish tint, but I think you all know what I mean. Headlights, daytime running lights, and also the fog lights. This one here has a full assortment, a package deal of LED lights. So they project farther, wider, brighter. Fog lights even are LED. Headlights, daytime running lights. All right, let's just take a look at the backs of the cars. And I wanna show you the biggest difference. The 2019 is gonna have the back glass that opens just like this. You can put your groceries in it, your soccer bags, your hockey equipment. This one, the 2020 does not have that. So that's been, we don't want to call it taken away, but it's not there anymore. They both have a power lift gate. Just like that. Uh, the 2020 has LED tail lights and stop lights. Remember, there's 2.36 inches more cargo space in the 2020 than in the 2019. Here's the 2019 version. Sorry about the wind, you guys. This has a bench seat in it. Standard choice is going to be for a captain's chair in both the 19 and the 20. That's the default there. I'm going to show you. It has sunshades in it. This is how you Watch this, this is gonna be a lot different here. This is the bar that moves the seat forward and backward. This closes the seat so it folds flat like a tabletop and then this one slides it to the back seat that you see right here. We're gonna show you captain's chairs in the 2020. All right, it has, just pay attention to this cause you'll see it's gonna change a little bit for the 2020. Two USB ports, it also has AC power. And then we're just gonna look, generically speaking, at the interior so you can see and compare it. Look at this smart storage shelf that goes all the way across. That's been broken up into two different sections. The 19 has soft tech seating, it has a power passenger seat, of course, power driver seat. It's broken up with this is gray, so it's gonna be broken up with darker gray accents. See the smart storage shelf going along this way here. This one right here has always been, let me turn that down, a little confusing because people wanna open it, and unless you push down, it doesn't, doesn't open as easily. It's got a storage shelf in there, and then a full compartment. You can take that shelf out. This center display is gonna be very different here. Here are the heated, heated seats. They'll be in a different spot. The snow button, it's got more USB ports, three more right there. So it's got a total of five. You can run power right here. It has push button start. And then let's look from the driver's side on the 19. This one does have the leg extender. I'll show you on the 2020. That one's gonna be a little different. The beige interior on the 2020 is gonna have a lot of brown accents with it as well. It has the engine start and stop, automatic high beams, the power lift gate, it has a leather wrapped steering wheel. And then look at the controls here because they're gonna be different on the 2020. See that? It's got, this is where your lane departure alert, radar cruise control, multi-information display, voice commands. And then this has a 4.2 inch multi-information display that shows you information about your vehicle. One thing I think would be nice is to have 
the digital speed on there. This is where the cruise control is right there. Okay, do we have a good feel for this? This is an eight inch. It has the premium audio on it. So it is gonna have the navigation system. It's integrated, but it has a map card and it plays satellite radio, HD radio, does not play Android Auto, no Apple CarPlay. It has an auto dimming rear view mirror, sunroof, sunglass holder with the little spy camera here. And then it has lighted mirrors with the slider. And I think that's all for the 19. In the interior, the benefit to the 2020 as far as passenger space is gonna be those extra 2.3 inches of cargo space, but also this middle seat will now slide an extra 1.2 inches to free up space for people in the back seat. I wanna show you how the controls look a lot different. First of all, let's slide it forward here. Okay, here's the back seat space for third row. And then we'll show you, this is for sliding it forward and backward slides it forward and backward this lowers it like a tabletop the middle seat and then this one here slides it so but it can go all the way forward to free up a lot more space or you could just move it halfway so we're doing this with the camera right by us here let's look this one right here has cup holders Okay, and then see the temperature controls are a little bit different. Two more USB ports in the back. This one has a total of five. It also has seat pockets for kids putting their iPad or coloring books, that kind of stuff. It does have lights, sun shades right here that pop up to protect you from the sun. And now let's look at the interior. We're gonna compare this to the 19, obviously, because, well, that's what the video's about. A lot more controls along that center instrument panel and column. See the smart storage shelf's been broken up a little bit. Sunroof, all right, check it out. Ch -ch -ch check it out. This one has power passenger seat. Remember, the beige is gonna have a lot of brown accents with it. It also has some dark gray, some black, some metallic silver. And then see the smart storage shelf here? That way, passenger and driver can put their keys, their phones, and then you can put your phone right there, run the cord down below, and then charge it with one of those three USB ports, also a 12 volt circular port. And then see how the temperature controls is a little bit different or are a little bit different watch my grammar Jeff and then it has heated seats just like that this has the audio plus system on it so it's got eight inch touch screen it's really easy to use it's set up just a little bit and this one's nice because it has Android Auto Apple CarPlay you can play Waze off of it Amazon Alexa commands Woo! you guys it got really windy all of a sudden I didn't expect that. I should have brought my microphone. But it has four one-touch windows. Let's see, one-touch windows, just like that. And then it's got power driver seat, but it does not have the leg extender or thigh support. This is where the hood and the gasoline are drive-through, little pouch there, automatic high beams, power lift gate. This is the odometer and trip indicator, trip A, trip B, brightness of the dash. Okay, remember this is gonna be different now. Leather wrap steering wheel, look at this. Cruise control, much easier to use now. It's less distracting because it's not down there. Radar cruise control, lane departure alert, AM, FM, Bluetooth, and back again and then it has your preset stations and also through the seven inch multi-information display pick up a call hang up a call volume and advanced voice recognition let's look at that screen here's what information this one will tell you it has digital speed 
How far till we run out of gasoline? That's cool, man. That's cool. Lane departure alert and radar cruise control function. The radio. It's got a tire pressure monitor. Goes through. Lane departure alert. Pre-collision system. Blind spot monitor. Rear cross traffic alert. Road sign assist. And your vehicle settings. Tells me I need to be buckling my seat belt. And then we'll go back. This is... It looks more involved, but it's actually easier to use. You just push that button. It opens up to expose standard Qi wireless charging. That is cool. So just put your new Android or iPhone up there. If you don't want to use that, you want to store something, it's got a storage tray that pops out just like that. And then it's got a 12 volt circular port, but I think that's a lot easier to use actually. What do you guys think about that one? And then it's got different driving modes. So it's got sport mode, normal mode and eco eco is economy better gas mileage especially in the city sport is if you want more responsive acceleration like faster gas pedal that type of a thing it's got a snow mode engine start and stop brake hold and electronic parking brake all right what do you guys think of this one it's got the auto dimming rear view mirror home link for garage door openers sunglass holder with the spy camera we can spy on me and my sony cam then we've got sunroof and then this is a little bit different here we've got the light up top let's see what it does it slides as well neat very cool so which interior do you guys like better do you like the 19 do you like the 20 what about the styling for the 20 what about the styling for the 19 which one appeals to you which one are you more interested in which one would you buy now looking at pricing here, we're gonna go right to the 2020 window sticker. I don't have one for the 19, but I have valuable information. The front wheel drive on the 2020, the factory MSRP is 39,600. Guess what? It's $120 more for the 2019 front wheel drive, 39,720. So the price actually went down. Toyota is strongly encouraging people to give a second look to this XLE. It's a great, great value. Blueprint with beige, Princeton, Indiana. Safety ratings aren't quite yet out, but they've always been really good on a Highlander, so I expect the same. 24 combined, the 19 has 23 combined, remember, and 27 on the highway as opposed to 29. City's the same. We're gonna look at this. Now the performance, they both have 295 horsepower. They use a 3.5 liter V6 engine. The 2020 model has taken away the four cylinder engine it works with an eight-speed automatic transmission, just like before. Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, that's a big improvement. Has eight airbags, blind spot monitor. I love that LED package. I would use that all the time. Well, of course I'd use it, but I would like it better. Remember, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM standard. Also, that Qi wireless charging, that's a big deal. No more cords. All right, so these are some options that were added at the regional assembly point to kind of finish it off, make it somebody's own, personalize it. And then once you go here, you get it delivered to the dealerships from the factory options. And then this particular one is 41610 But can you believe that it went down $120 in price? Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Write down in the comment section where you're watching the video from. I told you this was going to be popular. My friend Daniel's showing it to a customer right now while I'm filming. I hope they love it and I hope you love it too. A few things, a few, we'll call them plugs. I do writing. I write a regular column for Torque News. So go to www.torquenews, T-O-R-Q-U-E, torquenews.com slash Toyota because I write for Toyota. So torquenews.com slash Toyota, you'll learn all about the world of Toyota in detailed form. And I'm a regular writer for that, so I'd appreciate that. Also subscribe to the Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. Write down in the comment section, do you like the 2019? Do you like the 2020? What parts of each one do you like? Maybe we'll make a, a hybrid vehicle. I'm quickly falling for that 2020. Also write down where you're watching the video from. That's really rewarding and satisfying to know that I can touch a lot of people all around the world and help them look at cars when they're at work or home and they can't be out of the car a lot. So again, thank you so much. I really strongly suggest giving this another consideration. Check out that 2020. You are gonna like all these changes. Woo! Thank you guys so much. And if you haven't already subscribed to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel, thank you guys so much. See you next time.